that we're having a late start this morning. I woke up so early, I'm knackered. I was asleep late last night because my mum phoned. And I was on the phone to her till quite late. And then I woke up early and I'm very tired, but it's a lovely day, so we're gonna have a dunk in the pool. There's some English kids out here. Stephen may make a friend. Probably not though. I'm trying to encourage him to go and say um, like hello or whatever, but we'll see. I just got out We're having some issues that Stephen is just desperately like he says he's not bothered. I, I I don't know. He obviously he's an only child and he hasn't doesn't have much um child interaction whilst we're travelling. And there was four kids in the pool, uh, boys and girls, English. And I think go and speak to them, just go and say, Hey, can I play? But he's just so incredible like he just doesn't want to, he's like shy or whatever, he just really doesn't want to do it. And so I was like, just go and do it. Just it's we have been having conversations about it over the last couple of days and how he was like he's been saying, Oh yeah, but I'd, anyway, whatever. I think I've just got out of the pool then and so just go and say hello. Just go and ask him if you can play or whatever or t introduce yourself, tell them your name or so I, I don't know, I think maybe he's making some friends. We'll see. Oh I think he's playing on the slide with them potentially. He's made some friends, hopefully. Oh, this is good. There's quite a few of them. Good. <laughs> See, he's happy he's done it now. He just has to pluck up the courage to say hello. Oh, I'm really pleased about that. Yes, he's finally playing with them. See, he just needed a little bit of encouragement. This is nice. Stephen's playing with the kids. I've just had a nice chat with their mum. They've been um, backpacking for like a month around um, Thailand. The problem is now it's about like half past one ish, something like that. What time is it? Ten past one. It's supposed to be going over to uh, the worker, work, not the worker way, the other world callers that I found on Facebook. We're supposed to be going down to there for a bit, so now I have to probably drag Stephen away from his new mate. I don't know where he is. Lost him. So you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down. You know there's a motion between us. Don't go cry about it. Don't go cry about it. You want me to take you in my trust. So nice the sun has gone in a little bit now so it's quite cloudy so i'm gonna get my mac and uh, do some work out here i need to catch up on a little bit of editing steven is happy playing over there with some kids definitely mum knows best like before i was saying that like we chatted about him talking to people and everything he's just so shy in those situations and just like like to go and say hello or whatever and i kind of forced him into it really i kind of said like he wasn't allowed on his ipad or wasn't allowed to go or anything and then um, he kept saying, oh, I don't want to do it. I said, I don't care if you don't want to do it, go and do it. You've got to go and do it. I know, I felt like a bit tight, but it was worth it. Like, he's having a great time now playing with him. I think definitely when you're travelling, um, having just one child is quite difficult. I would say that, I mean, I'd, obviously I don't know, I've no first-hand experience of it, but um, travelling with two children surely must be simpler they were travelling with one because they were like of similar ages and like obviously they get along or whatever reasonably well I can imagine that would just be like really easy I mean it obviously isn't easy but like when you're only like single mum single child it's that like you become their plaything like they want to play in the pool you want to go and play with them and whereas if you have two children they'll just go and play together and you can get on with like mum stuff or whatever Um yeah so I'm glad that he's got some little mates in the pool. I think I'm only here for like two days or so but it's just nice. I'm gonna sit here in the other bit in the sun but kind of 
in the warmth rather than the sun and uh, do a little bit of editing and work. I need to sort out some stuff. We're not going to go over to the other world schoolers that I met on Facebook that I mentioned before. We're going to go. I've just messaged them. Um, hopefully we can organise that for another day because that will still be quite good to connect with them. Stephen is still playing with these kids. It is about four hours later and he has not got out of the pool. I'm so glad that he finally went and said hi. I'm sure he's had a ball of a day. Look, still happy. Everyone has gone in now, Stephen's done. Are you glad that you made yeah. some little friends? Are you glad that I was sure. like, was I right? Was I right? No. <laughs> oh, I've had a nice day. The last day is tomorrow, is it? No. Are they hanging around the pool tomorrow or? Yeah, they're hanging around the pool tomorrow. No, no. Okay. Yeah, they're hanging around the pool tomorrow. It has gotten so late. I don't quite know how it's gotten. So, I mean, so late. It's not like late, but like a long time since I last vlogged. I made, before when Susan was playing with the kids, I made, um, I mean, it looks gross, I'm not going to show you, but well, it's not nice. But, um, like, he loves macaroni cheese, and so I kind of figured I would make, try and make, like, a vegan-y kind of cheese, I mean, it's not cheese in any sense, but I made, um, like, a sauce for the macaroni, and it was some lentils, I think these are lentils, anyway. I have these, are these lentils? They kind of look like lentils to me, but they could be something else. I don't think they are now I'm looking at them. There's a picture of a drink. Oh, split, it says in English what they are, split soybean. Okay, so they're split soybeans. Um, I boiled some of them up with some carrots and fried some onion and then whizzed it all up with some tofu and made this like sauce. Like if I was in England, I'd probably put like nutritional yeast with it or whatever, but I'm not, I haven't got any nutritional yeast. But Stephen is a fan, I can't believe it. So he had like a portion before when he finished playing and he's just asked but if you can have some more. So yeah, you know, I'll just show you what it looks like. Look, it's not it's not attractive at all, but hey, never mind. I think it's raining to be honest. I'm sure I can hear rain outside. No, I can't maybe it's the um things from the pool actually, from the mushrooms. But yeah, I'm gonna probably get into bed soon and uh, I don't know, watch something or do some editing or something in bed. Is that the most unattractive plate of food <laughs> you've ever seen in your life? But I mean, I suppose, like mac and cheese isn't that attractive looking anyway. It tastes good anyway, so who cares, right? Are you eating it here, yeah? Are you gonna watch it? Confessions of a shopaholic. And can I have a little bit of that, please? Yeah. 